Okay, this one's a little hard to read because it's in pencil, but it says, Juan has 20 pairs of shoes. Victor has two times as many shoes as Juan. Juan gives one pair of shoes to Victor. How many pairs of shoes does Victor have now? Hmm. Okay. So Juan has 20 pairs of shoes, but Victor has two times as many. What's two times 20? Well, two times two is four, and we have one trailing zero. So twice as many would be 40 pairs of shoes. So Victor has, these are Victor's shoes, um, 40 pairs. Okay, and then the 20, that was Juan's amount of shoes that he has, right? And the question says, Juan gives one pair of shoes to Victor. Ooh. So now Juan is going to be losing one pair of shoes. And he's giving it to Victor. So he is going to be gaining one pair, right? So now Juan will have, instead of 20, he'll have 19 pairs. And Victor, instead of having 40, will have 41 pairs of shoes. Is that right? Did I get it right, Antonio? That was a good question. Okay, we're going to take a look at this question. This one is by Juan. It says, my window has 16 pieces of glass divided into four rows. Four rows. Remember, rows are horizontal. They go side to side. How many pieces of glass are in each row? Oh, well, that's easy enough. We're just going to count how many are in a row. One, two, three, four. There are four pieces of glass in each of the rows. Oh, and four times 4 is 16. Good one.